when there's a contest of some kind, you have those who win and those who lose. In this video, I'll explain how to use the words win and lose. Here's the word win as a verb. And this is lose. This is a verb. As a noun, win stays the same. Win. But from a verb to a noun, lose becomes loss. The person who wins is a winner. The person who loses is a loser. And here are the adjectives. Win becomes winning and lose becomes losing. Here's the verb win in the simple form. In the past tense, it's one. In the form of a past participle, it's also one. And the present participle is winning. Here's the verb lose in the simple form. In the past tense, it's lost. As a past participle, it's also lost and the present participle is losing. Both of these verbs are irregular. Here are some examples for ways to use these verbs in sentences. Joe Biden won the election. This is in the past tense. He has won. This is the present perfect tense. Here's the helping verb matching the subject. And this is the past participle. He's the winner. This is the person who won. And in this sentence, he had a winning strategy. So this is an adjective. It's the present participle, and it modifies the noun strategy. Or you can say he was on the winning team, or Kamala Harris was on the winning team. Donald Trump lost the election. Here's the verb lose in the past tense. He has lost. This is in the present perfect tense. He's the loser. We use this word for the person. You could also say he's a loser. But to be more specific, use the. He had a losing strategy. The word losing modifies the noun strategy. This does not mean that he intended to lose. It just means that the strategy that he had did not work.